For this craft I used Coca-Cola bottle tops, taking a good pair of pliers and just pull out any lining plastic. After giving them a good wash, you should be ready to go. Next up, rip tin foil into rough one inch pieces and then crunch it down to little balls about the size of a lentil or pea. This will give it loads of crinkles. I then hot glue the bottle caps onto the top of corks so that I can get ready to prime these. Now you can do this with black acrylic paint, but I used spray paint. I use Games Workshop Chaos Black because it's the only black I had to hand. But you can use any acrylic based spray paint. This is just a black base coat. Make sure to get inside with all the details, otherwise, you'll see the garish colours of the plastic. Next up, take the tea leaves from the previous video and hot glue into the bottom of the bottle cap. And then apply the tea leaves, making sure to push them down into the hot glue before it cools. This will simulate hot ashes. If you have a hot glue gun with a high setting, make sure to use a stick so that you don't burn your fingers. But if, like me, you have a dual temp gun, you can get away with just using your finger, if you have it set to cool. Tip out any excess back into your pot for later usage. Make sure you bang out any unnecessary bits. Then by this time, the glue should have cooled sufficiently to give it some texture just with a finger. I then use some super glue just to seal the porous surface of the tea leaves and lock it in place. But you can use any varnish or sealer you like. Once it's dried I use a little bit more to stick six balls in the centre so it looks like a pile of coals. Also make sure when you're sticking them in, don't stick them to your fingers like I did. Once that's done, take a little bit of masking tape and tape around the edge of each of the caps to protect the black paint from the next stage. Next I spray white spray into the centre of the caps, making sure to get around all the nooks and crannies of the details. I use Corex white but you can use any spray primer you like. Once it's dry, peel off the masking tape, hopefully you won't have any missing paint like I did. If you do, just touch it up with a little bit of black paint. Next I use a neon poster paint and a matte varnish as a medium to carry it, but a neon acrylic paint would be much better. I then paint it all over the inside of the cap and all over the coals. I don't worry about getting it all around the middle of the coals because the white will help the look of heat coming off of it later. Once the first coat was dry I added a second. Next I use a bad and black as a heavy dry brush over the coals. You can use any black acrylic you like, it will do the same thing. Load your brush up, take off the excess and then brush it over the centre of the coals giving it that used surface look you get on hot coals with the heat of the orange glowing through. I then take a heavier brush full of black paint and work it around the very bottom recess of the cap. This will help gradient the black towards the centre giving it the look of emanating heat. Next I take some brass scorpion but you can use any brassy or metallic paint you like. I give it a good mix then dump it out onto some kitchen roll. This helps remove the water for a nice dry brushing for around the outside. Once you're happy with your coverage, give it a heavy dry brush on the outside and it'll pick out all of the detail. I chose Coca-Cola caps because these ridges on the outside make for good metal ribbing detail. This will really sell the look that it's actually a big brass brazier rather than a bottle cap filled with some crap. I then pick out the very edge of the cap just to give it that finished look. Then taking it off the cork I paint some black over the bottom just to finish the look. No one wants to see the logo underneath. I hope you enjoy these glamour shots and I hope you like this craft. As always like, share and subscribe and let me know what you think.